What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, yeah, can I get a... Alright y'all, so I done made it to Cafe Bird. We done made it to the front of the line. We done been in line for almost an hour, you know what I'm saying? And we doing, what's your name? My name is Daisy. What is it? Daisy, like the flower. My name is Daisy. <laughs> finally made the cafe. I've been telling y'all about cafe. I'm gonna do the uh, shrimp basket, Cajun shrimp basket. Okay, would you like the upgrade the fries to the burger ranch fries? Nah, just the, just the regular fries. Okay. And uh, I said no beignets. They ain't got no beignets, y'all. I'm so sold sorry. Out. I'm so sorry. They sold out. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Ain't no bad thing. They ain't got it. They sold out. Um, I'm gonna do that. The shrimp basket and shit. What else I want? I would... We have jambalaya egg rolls. I try that. Okay. I try that. With, I will, it comes with chicken and blue sausage and shrimp with our homemade Creole sauce and chopped up green onions. The sauce on the side? You may have the sauce on the side yeah. instead of on it? Well, no, yeah. just make it how you, I want it, however they make it, okay. However they make it. Can I get you anything else? Oh, uh, no, that's it. Uh, Emilio, A-M-I-L-L-I-O. Let me know if you hear anything different. You got a Cajun shrimp basket and an auto thermalite. I mean, more than luck. I said probably like an hour. No, no flicks on it. But we finally got it. I'm gonna um, walk around and show y'all a little footage of the um, the actual yard. I think it'd be a little bit more lit in the evening time. But this particular place closes at um, six. As soon as I mean, I had been in that line for an hour. They said they went through three boxes of chicken. Each box of chicken had five bags. That's just so to go show y'all how good this food is. Small black business trying to get them a restaurant and they definitely gonna get it and I believe they is. And I'm gonna be a supporter, avid supporter of them. Um, I don't know them personally, but you know, we support the uh, small business, small black businesses, of course. So we gonna walk around and see what it is. If y'all ever wanna come check this out, 1313 Sylvan Road. Um, they do have like places of shade, but it's a lot of people out here, so it's limited shade right now. But I'm about to go back over here and see if I can get my food. I ain't getting nothing to drink. I might get something to drink from up here. I'm not sure. It's like one of these places. Look, like they sell drinks right here. I get it when I get my food though. Smooth it down. Alright, we're gonna head back over here. See if we can. See if they don't call my name out yet, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ooh, yeah, so, y'all, it's hot. But we definitely, we finally made it. Make sure y'all click like, click subscribe, click comment. I said click comment. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on my video. Please. I done sat out here for an hour waiting on this food. Ooh, shit. I'ma roll my damn ankle. I am sat here for an hour waiting on this damn food. Which I know it's gonna be good. Cause I seen a lot of reviews on the place. Um, which I follow them on Instagram. And um, they always got a crowd. There's always people here at their um, they place. So I've seen this place for quite a while. And I've been trying to get over here. Even like when I first posted this, let y'all know how good it is. When I first posted it, um, People just start commenting automatically. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you think about it. So that's why I be trying to let these people know that, I mean, my, my, I mean, you know, yeah, I'm, yeah, definitely to toot my own horn, but my name definitely rings a bell. It may not, you know, but it definitely rings a bell. So when I post something on your business or your restaurant, people are going to see it and I'm going to be the top reviewer in Atlanta of food. I'm going to be, I am the top reviewer in Atlanta of food. So if I come to your place and I kind of review your stuff, you better make sure it's on point, baby. Because these folks is looking for me to let them know what's good and what's not good. You feel me? So that's what we gonna do. Oh, and it's hot. And then I met this other girl, she cute too. She real cute, I don't know if she gonna watch my video. She probably ain't, cause she ain't subscribed. <laughs> oh, no, she might subscribe now. She might be watching my shit now, I don't know. <laughs> but she cute as fuck. I was like, hey, I seen her vlogging and shit. I'm like, hey, you on? You know, you be doing YouTube and shit. I got y'all all in my face. I be like, hey, you doing YouTube and shit, da da da, woo the woo woo the woo. I wasn't just trying to, you know what I'm saying, press up and that like that. 
I will I was a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, the camera, the camera get you something. I tell you, you got to be putting it out there. Camera, out. motherfuckers just come like, What you do? What you be recording? What you do? And I be like, Shit, I'm a YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I be doing this. I got 8,000 subs, you know what I'm saying? Woo the woo. I'm like, Oh, let me subscribe to you. Da, 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 da. That's how it go. That's how you pull them. I'm trying to tell you, for all the guys out there, get you a YouTube channel and just walk around with your camera and start vlogging. You're going to pull them. You're going to pull them off. I'm trying to tell you. I'm just talking right now. Y'all, they ran out of poor boys. They ran out of beignets. I really wanted them beignets. So they got these uh, pecan praline or praline or however you want to pronounce it. Everybody pronounces it different. Um, beignets, so they like, you know, your regular beignets with your powder sugar on top of it. Then they put the praline sauce. Y'all remember that praline sauce that I had made for that Christmas video? That with the pecans on top of it. Y'all know that shit. I know that shit busting. They ran out. They ran out completely. Completely ran out. Oh, I stood in line. I know I stood in line for a good damn, good damn hour. And of course, of course, when I get to the front of the line, of course, we out. That is, we out. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, the misery. I stood in line for this long for nothing. Not for nothing, because I still order food. <sighs> I still order food. But yeah, y'all. So I'm probably, I'm not probably gonna sit out here. I'm just gonna be honest. I've been out here for an hour. So I'm probably not gonna, it's nice. Y'all can see. Y'all can see. It's a really nice day. It's a really nice. This is a shaded spot out here, but there's too many bugs and too many flies. And um, if I wasn't driving, I'd grab a drink and then we'll drink together. You yeah, know. If I wasn't um, if I wasn't driving, I'd definitely definitely give me a little give me a little buzz. You know what I'm give me a little buzz on. But I'm driving, so you know, you gotta, you gotta be responsible. Hey! Hey! Of other people's lives that are at risk. Especially y'all know I'm an insurance adjuster, so safety is my number one. Y'all know that. Let me, let me wait for my food. Shit. I'm gonna wait for my food. And then I'm gonna grab a drink. And I'll see y'all when I get in the car. I can't do it no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in the car. I got my food. Y'all already know what to do. I was up on EZY. My name is Reedy and I know how to ride. Why, why, Ricky, 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 All right, y'all, I just had to play a little Noya bounce, baby, to go with this good Noya food, baby. We at Cafe Bourbon, baby. We about to try this good food, baby, yeah. All right, y'all. So y'all saw the little montage. I'm sorry if the air is up loud, I'm sorry. It is so hot outside, you know. It's just like one of them kind of heat that you, it just, it just kind of make you sick to your stomach a little bit. Cause that shit is hot. Alright y'all, so I'm at Cafe Bourbon, baby. Yeah, so we got the egg rolls, baby. Egg rolls thing. We're gonna get us our first bite of these. Yeah, jambalaya egg rolls. Yeah, look at that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all yeah, they got chicken. This is like jambalaya. Mmm. 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 Baby, did they give me some ketchup? That food makes it sound like you from the N.O. Mmm. 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 Y'all make sure 
Y'all come down here and support them. They trying to get a restaurant. They trying to get a restaurant. Yeah, I'll make sure I want y'all to come out here and support them. 1313 Sylvan Road. And help them out. Bring them some business. Bring your friends. I should have brought friends, but I was doing this um, mukbang, so I was like, hmm. I'll probably go by myself. Mmm. <laughs> mm. And make sure y'all don't ask for any alterations. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's sleeping. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sleeping. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sleeping already. Mmm. This is good. Mmm. Ketchup. Thumbnail. Now, how much you want to bet this don't be the thumbnail? Mmm. Mmm. These real New Orleans shrimp. Mmm. <laughs> the taste just can't be duplicated. There's just something about that New Orleans shrimp taste. Every time I come somewhere, I got stuff to pee. Find somewhere to pee over here. I got a bathroom in there. What a pain. They ran out of pole boys, baby. Mm. How y'all doing today? I don't know if I asked already. Mm. But for the people that asked me, was they feel good? The answer is yes. 1313 Silver Road. The name of the place is Triton. Triton Yards. Mm. 1313 Silver Road. So yes, I'll be doing car bangs on these videos. But the good majority of it will be highlighting small businesses. But a lot of it will be the experience, the review, plus me eating a little food. But thing like the thing is. With days like today, as busy as they were, like having to wait. Not to say that I had a problem um, with waiting because I didn't. They were literally the only place with a line, so that ought to tell you something. That ought to tell you something. Jesus. It's hot. It looks like you come with about 12 shrimp. Nice size shrimp. Y'all have one. I like hot sauce and ketchup with my shrimp. But 
they ran out of that too. <laughs> so, I went to the little thing. They had like this little stand that sells drinks for the entire place. And asked the girl, did they have any ketchup? And she said, no, but she had a plate from somewhere in here and she gave me her ketchup, y'all. Wasn't that clutch? I love people. <laughs> Sometimes. Don't park next to me. Please don't park next to me. All oh, them parking spaces. Thank you. I hate this little dude out All them parking spaces, you want to park next to me. Making it difficult for me to get out in the big ass car. I know this car big. It be dry like a limousine. Like a truck. Big truck driver. I'm a big truck driver. Honk, honk. Yeah, I remember when we was kids, and um, what well, my parent used to do it. Notice I said parent, not parents. <laughs> I didn't have a father. <clears throat> That's not funny. Some people just take that very seriously. I'm just kind of grown in my age, so I don't give a fuck. I don't say, I don't give a fuck right now. I take that back. I'd be lying if I said I ain't care that my daddy wasn't in my life. Now, am I still pointing the finger and throwing the blame game? Mm -mm. I had to release myself from that mental prison of why, 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 why I didn't have this, why I didn't have that. As far as, you know, father figure wise, I had to release myself from that. That's a mental prison. People really don't even be knowing, you know, they be harnessing all this negative energy in their body over another person. That man living his life. I ain't thinking about no kids. And I ain't trying to say it like that. I'm sure you think about his kids, but that man's someone living his life. And I'm out here living mine. Don't really live. And don't continue to live it. But like I say, I ain't gonna sit here and say, because there are things, there are energies that come from a parent. And I know this on a personal level. There are energies that come from a mom, there are energies that come from a dad that are transferred into the child to me that are very imperative for the child's um, growth, in my opinion, and I'm just stating that based off the lack of, because I didn't have it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just kind of stating it based off of that, the lack of having it, so I know. And then having grandparents, you know, not necessarily attempting to be that person, because they, uh, they ultimately know that they can't replace, you know, a parent, and even them trying to give that parent parental energy yes it comes off as parental energy but it comes off as grandparent for me in my case grandparents parental energy when the energy is something about a mom the energy from a mom that resonates into the child same with the dad so I'll be lying if I said that it didn't have an effect on my life because it definitely does as far as him not being around however as an adult I realize that you can't harbor energies. And number one, number one, number two, as an adult, I realize as an adult, you know, so many things can occur in short time periods, which short time periods can span. You know what I'm saying? And those short time periods will, you know, will span over spurts of time, and you just lose track of time. And um, that within that those time spaces and capsules are your children. You know. And it's not necessarily that you want to neglect. You're probably doing everything that you can that you feel one day I'm going to be able to do for my children. But children, you know, that one day never comes. Sometimes, and the children become grown and they begin to do for themselves. And then sometimes the children begin to harbor the energy of, well, they were never that is. So what I need you for now? I'm not like that. I used to be. I'm not going to lie. But now I will say I definitely don't harbor any negative energy against that man. I'm happy for that man, for him living his life, whatever it is that he's doing out there in the world. I don't have no negative energy. And I'm moving on with my life. You know, that's all I can do. I'm trying to create a family for myself. And I know how to do it right. Not to say that he did it wrong. Like I said, I ain't pointing no blame. I ain't pointing no finger. I don't know what the hell happened between him and my mama. They may not even never even been together. Shit. 
we be sitting up here thinking as children that you know our parents was in this lovey-dovey and then all of a sudden they just broke up and they didn't love us no more no some people have sex and have children um and you know i might have been a bastard child and i know that sounds bad but hey it is what it is some people have sex and have children when you have sex you have children <laughs> that's usually what happens Usually what happened. Um, so yeah. But anyway, the food is good. I definitely gonna take it home and put it in the air fryer for a little later. I don't wait it, you know, so long. I know I keep saying that, I'm not saying that in a bad way. But I'm waiting so long, I ain't you know. So um make sure y'all come out and check out the food is great. The food is great. I'm just gonna take it home because this air been blowing on it and it's gonna got a little cool. So I'm gonna take it home and put it in the air fryer and eat eat on that later of course but um the food is definitely good y'all i definitely want y'all to come down here and check out 1313 sylvan hope y'all enjoy the vlog hope y'all enjoy the view i said the view <laughs> i said the view well yeah hopefully y'all enjoy the view <laughs> did y'all enjoy the view comment below if y'all enjoy the view comment below if y'all enjoy my vlogs slash car banks mukbanger what have you comment below if y'all enjoy me doing it this way. But I definitely enjoy vlogging. Um, and I definitely um, enjoy doing mukbang in the car because the food is fresher that way. Y'all, for those of y'all that said about my nails that I could have been popped them off and was trying to figure out why I still had them on, the people that took them off was a different place and she could not figure out what the hell that lady had did to my fingers. Like that shit ate my nails up like it ate my real nails my shit so thin like it ate the top coat of my nails off i will never in my life do that again i don't care what nobody say i will never in my life do that again that nail challenge it ate i don't know if y'all can see it y'all may can't see it y'all probably can't see it it ate the top coat of my real actual nail like the glue or whatever the hell acrylic whatever the hell that shit was it ate the top coat of my real nail off and it's like thin and it hurts really bad it's really brittle and um i ain't gonna say it hurts really bad like i'm just in excruciating pain but um yeah i'll never do that again uh, so hope y'all enjoyed that video hopefully y'all like that video if you haven't had an opportunity to see the acrylic nail video y'all go check that out because i put a lot into it and um yeah, my dignity. <laughs> nah, but my dignity. But um, thank y'all so much. Um, this was definitely worth the wait. It was definitely worth the adventure. I love going on adventures with you guys. Um, and we'll continue to go on adventures. Like I said, I'm aiming to be the top food reviewer in Atlanta. I'll be your food guide to food in Atlanta. I think that's going to change my intro to Welcome to Emilio Food Guide Food Channel. Your food guide to Atlanta or something like that. Y'all help me with that in the comments if you like. Um, and I may use it.